Welcome back to NASCAR Heat 5. We are here week number race number two. Well, race number three, race number two in the truck series as we take on Las Vegas Speedway. Uh, I did start recording this and my capture device actually froze up. So I'm doing a retake, which sucks because we were probably, I think we were middle of stage two. I um, stopped recording and for the night after that happened because, you know, you put in the time and it's annoying to do it again. But anyway, um, I did spend, we had 281,000. We upgraded the engine to a 95. Oh, I think I could just show you from here. Okay, engine 95, arrow is 90, upgraded suspension to 90 as well. Uh, I then maxed out the employees uh, in their specific area. So Alina has 12 on engine, Carlos has 12, and Harrison has 12 as well. I didn't do anything. I don't have any money. I didn't do anything else with... Marie, she's kind of there right now as a buffer to help with extra work when we have availability. Uh, I do need to work on getting another truck on the team so that we have that spare truck to be upgrading at all times. Not much else to say. We got to get out here. We uh, had a bad position. A lot of that had to do with the rivals. So hopefully we'll be able to do some avoidance in this race as it's not a draft race. And we'll get through it with minimal issues. Anyway, folks, let me get out there and uh, see how this new truck performs on the track. And we'll see you at qualifying. Oh, we hit our sponsor bonus. So we'll move on to the next session. Um, of course, about a second and a half of the leaders. Not, not great there, but whatever. We do what we can. Well, we barely got the 32.9. I'm not going to be able to pull three tenths off in qualifying, so... We'll do the best we can. I think that 32 is based on, uh, or 32.6 is based on where 15th place qualified, and that's our goal qual or our goal finish position. So that might be, that may be the problem, or not problem, but the reason why that's that way. Here we go, qualifying oh, lap right. now Thank underway. You. I uh. <laughs> turned up the response a little bit so the steering wheel is a little stiffer I feel like I don't know it didn't a little too I need to maybe make a one notch adjustment but it's it was just too weak it felt too loose the steering wheel did so I made the adjustment there yeah. alright All right. yeah we didn't didn't even 21st place isn't bad, though. I mean, out of 32, that's not bad at all. Take a look at your qualifying effort for the rest of the drivers. Top five, Johnny Sauter, Stuart Friesen, Austin Hill, Grant Enfinger, and Josh Rayum. Custom driver, Casey Kane, eighth. Jeremiah Graham, 12th. David Schildhouse, 13th. Max Cost, 15th. Michael Chavez, 16th. Bryce Egan, 17th. Matt Kenseth, 19th. Parker Smith, 20th. We're in 21st. Eliza Bethel, 23rd. John Perez, 24th. Bradshaw Stout, 25th. Gary Norton, 26th. Speedy Jones, 28th. Taylor Carpenter, 29th. Lance Nowick, 30th. Matt Malone, 31st. And Bernardo de Oliveira, 32nd. Updates to the race. Jeremiah Graham crashing qualifying. He goes to the back. Angela Rutsch, engine change after qualifying to the back with her. And Johnny Sauter gives up qualifying position for new tires. He goes to the back as well as we line it up All now right, in 19th place. Be ready here. Green's out, man. Let's go. Get through the gears right, here. Try our best to avoid getting smashed into. Stay low, stay low. You got room, you're clear. It's the inside of Kenseth and get a good runoff. That worked out pretty nicely. I'm off the gas early there. Rolling in. We got Spencer Boyd on our outside, which is nice because he's not going to smash us. I'm actually going to see if I can get the position from Chavez on the apron. That worked out. 
Jennifer Joe Cobb was up above us. I didn't realize it. Wow, what a head of steam she got there. I did not realize she had done that. Spencer Boyd will likely be much faster than us, although it looked like he got a little out of control there. So we get up behind. We're surrounded by trucks that don't hate us, which is a rarity, so that's nice. And the longer we can drive where we aren't uh, getting smashed around by these other drivers, the better off we are overall, because that'll hopefully help to reduce their hate when it comes to our um, relationships. Although this might not go great. Oh, we're fine. I could have gone poorly, but it didn't. We worked it out. Oh, that didn't go great, but Boyd appears to be okay. Truck uh, got actually super loose. I lost all steering input for a second there when we started in that corner, which was weird. We're okay now. Big run off. So I'm going to actually get on the brake here going into the corner. So that I didn't run up into Cobb. And here we go, another huge run out of two. That seems to be our story. If we could start doing that coming out of three and four, we'd be just a monster on this track. Even if we're able to maintain with them coming out of three and four, I'd be happy, which is what we just did right here. That means that we might be able to pull some stuff off going out of one and two again. Of course, with Max here, I'm not going to do that because that's just going to... Ah... Jennifer Joe Cobb got inside. I was going to try to time it like I like to do where cost comes off. Let's see if we can just squeeze it. This is about to go poorly. I broke. I, I bailed. I bailed on it. But it was the best thing I could do there. I'm just trying to figure out, can I get this? Yes, I can. I was going to say, can I time the run off? And I did. The whole goal is to not get run into by um, cost. Like that. Oh, wow. Did he just not even use his brakes? He just used my bumper to slow himself down there. That's going to cost us. Oh, here we go again. Hoping that the runoff works through here, too. We're able to just drive away. Yes, we are. Good. Whew. That was uh, nerve-wracking only because he's a rival and I don't want to get wrecked. It's happened before and I just don't... I don't like it. Who does? Obviously, nobody. Oh, that was an action-packed first seven laps of the race. Or six laps, I guess. We're on lap seven now. I don't know if this is going to be our bubble or if we're going to be able to catch, like, Spencer Boyd or even Kane. And it looks like Shieldhouse up there running in the top ten. We're having a nice performance so far. Not really sure, but, yeah, I definitely need to turn the steering wheel strength down one notch I went up one too high it's uh oh it's fine I don't mind feeling it I just don't I don't know how the if I'm overdoing it on the motors you know you don't want anything to burn out if it's set too high I don't really beat this steering wheel up at all so not exactly in the market to be replacing a $500 steering wheel I think we're actually going to be gaining up on Boyd here a little bit. Yeah, we are. I was just, I was really watching the relative. I was just watching him. Realized he was getting a little bigger. And then a little smaller.
Yeah. Looks like we're in that bubble. I know I normally split them up by half, but if we have more action later on, I don't want to feel compelled to have to split things up. So let's go ahead and speed it up to the end of stage one. Um, if anything happens, we'll come back. Like a caution, really just a caution. A caution happens before the end of the stage. That's when we'll be back on the mic. Otherwise, we'll be back on the mic with you at the end of the first stage. Stage, Looks like a caution pulled that one out because we still had three to go. Oh, wow, yeah, we just went past the truck that was out. I didn't really catch a glimpse of who it was, but uh, it's not a bad thing for us. We're going to go ahead and pit as we would do. I want to actually loosen it up a little bit, though. See how this goes. Still on the lead lap, so that's good as well. All right, now. Be smart out there. Going green. Be ready here. Well, we gained two spots. We're going to see... Anybody's on pit road, or if it was, looks like it was just a spin out. Just good, good. They didn't have to stop racing. We're actually not being contacted by Kane right now, which is awesome. Always get that runoff, fresh stuff to get the runoff on uh, Boyd. Going to three and four. I'm trying to be a little. Oh yeah, okay. I didn't real I didn't know it was Johnny Sauter there. No big deal. I just was I wanted to know who it was. Sitting up here in eleventh place. The draft certainly helps keep us up with these guys. Like to stay up if we can get, you know, kind of a gap on people by rolling up with this group, that'd be awesome. But I also have to, you know, stay up with this group, which is its own challenge. As they're already starting to kind of drive away. We, uh, <clears throat> we definitely have a 15th place truck. Not sure if we have anything better than that right now. We're, we're swinging above our weight right now. So hanging out with the, with the heavyweight drivers. Well, at least in our league right now, these are the heavyweights. Still there. Uh, yes. Wow, that's bad. That's because we're in the draft. We're getting all that extra speed from the draft. That's why I'm trying to stay with these guys. I don't even need to pass them if I can just hang with them. And we put a big gap on Boyd and them. We'll be in a great spot. Of course, now I'm going to try to pass because stay low, stay low. we get that great runoff of two. Which puts us into, if we were somehow able to, I mean, we're so early in the stage, but if we were somehow able to stay in, up here, what? We would be in, uh, we'd be in playoff points, which wow, is awesome. Clear all around there. 
You're not gonna get me because we get the runoff, man. Uh-oh. Oh, we're good. That's right. I don't have to worry about these trucks. They're not gonna try to murder me. Weird. Weird to have that happen. I wasn't trying to pass craft in, but we got such a run. I was just doing whatever I could there. I don't know. He's up into hopefully his draft right away. Perfect. Yeah, he gets just a crazy run out of there. We got Endfinger coming in on the inside. I might be overdriving it a lot right now. It could be happening. We're certainly not underdriving it. <laughs> you know, you know. I just want to stay in in their draft up here and gap the other trucks as much as possible, so that when we do uh, undoubtedly lose the draft at some point, got kind of a buffer before the other trucks start to catch us and pass us. Which again, they will. It's not. I know that's going to happen. But the longer we're able to hang with these trucks, the better off we are. Should have maybe stayed up there with crafting. I did not. Hold your line, got one inside. I did not, and Endfinger is there. That's nah, fine, but. Stay high up there. See if I can just, like. Got a car nope, coming it didn't, work. Now. didn't work. I was going to do something, and it just didn't work even from the beginning. I know I'll get this run off, get in front of Decker, but. There we go. Just gonna hang with Endfinger if I can, you know? Again, things I don't need to do. Pass trucks right now. I need to. Yeah, that sucked. I, I really overdrove the truck a lot. I said it in the other series, in my Dirt to Daytona series. I'll say it again. When I have a truck that isn't up to par, we're gonna do whatever we can to get good positions. And that's exactly what I'm doing here, is I'm racing this thing as hard as possible tearing up the tires fighting it late but because of that you know i feel like we're able to get better positions than we would if we were running it uh moderately or even less than that saving and things like that we're just driving like a bat out of hell to try to get us uh just try to get the best finish possible at all times I remember a young Kurt or a young Kyle Bush was very much like that. He drove every single lap, every single race like it was the championship. And, you know, I liked that about him back then. And so this I mean, aside from the wrecking people, I'm going to drive this truck as hard as I possibly can to the wheels basically go. try to come off. And that's what we're doing, and because of it, we're in 10th place, and we put a bit of just a slight gap between us and Decker. I don't think we'll finish in the top 10 in the stage, but maybe we get lucky. Like, we just caught up on uh, Crafton's draft, and maybe we're able to push the middle of the track here so we keep up some of this speed going through 3 and 4. And... Uh, yeah, catch back up into the draft a little bit. Get a nice run out of two again. And just stay in the general region of these drivers. So that we'd be able to actually uh, stay up in battle. Should I be? I mean, I feel like always going down to the line as much as possible because it's the shortest way around the track. Should I be running the high line and messing around with that with Crafton to see if I just carry more speed and the truck is sta more stable up there? I don't know. He's running the high line all the way around the track, though. That's crazy. Of course, when you have a truck like that, you can do that. We're going to... We're going to... Oh, no crap. I was like, we're going to run it this time. Nope. He goes down to the... White line, probably to grab the draft with uh, Endfinger. But hey, I'll tell you what, we're coming up to the midway of stage number two, and we're still in 10th place, so half of us, half of a full run, or half of a run, and uh, 
That's pretty nice. Now comes stage three when we have more laps and everybody drives their trucks to uh, the basically the fuel window. That's when it's going to be a little more challenging because I think it's like 40 laps to the fuel window, maybe even 50. That could be a big deal for us because we got to the end of last stage and we were about 58% uh, tire wear on that right rear. In fact, where we were at 73% right now, we're about halfway through. So, yeah, right around 50% mark. I don't know. We'll find out how that all turns out, but we started to slow a bit. I was a little loose even coming off of that turn. Still there? just do what we can to be smart let drivers go around us when they're obviously faster again you have to drive hard as you can but then know when they when you're out of talent or equipment or both and just let things fade the way they will now i got a two point something second lead on casey kane goal obviously is to stay in front of casey kane Still there. but not necessary because we're outside of the top 10 now so we're not even going for points and i don't yeah, think i can catch now. back up to decker and and get the points so we're just going to run this stage out and uh Careful, you know, hope we finish in 12th that'd be nice i'd like to finish in 12th 14 left in the stage though so let's go ahead and speed things up and we'll be back with you caution or at the end of stage number two Ooh. I'm going to tell you what, we were uh, definitely super fighting loose at the end, back end kicking out at the exit of four every time. Not great, but we'll have to figure out because we'd had 20 laps left in the tank. I guess, uh, I don't know. Uh, we got to, I guess we, oh no, Jason White and Angela Rutch swapped spots in the pits. We came out in the same 14th place that we went in which I'm totally fine with. Better than what we used to do, which was absolutely for sure going to lose spots. Um, Careful, still there. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Inside, clear low. It's not inside. I can see him. We're going to be inside. Careful, still there. No reason, no reason to battle with Kane. Have contact, have issues. Two thirds through the race right now. Well, actually, we're not. We're. What are we halfway through? Not even halfway through the race, technically. I think it's 134 laps. Still have 70 to go. So yeah. He's gonna come back down. I mean, we didn't get a good run there. No reason to fight that. Looking inside now. Looks like we got Schildhouse behind us. Inside. <clears throat> Good run for him. I don't want to get hit, so I just come off the gas. That's what I'm doing now. Honestly, I'd 
rather finish lower and fix mend some of these relationships than anything, to be honest. But Jason White, we don't have a bad relationship with, so see ya. See what kind of gap we can put again. 15 is the goal, so we're above that goal by one position, and that matters mightily for us. There will be one pit stop during this run, whether it be under caution or green. Doesn't matter. I don't I think uh maybe our first race ever we had a green plague plague pit stop. Aside from that, I don't even think we've had one. It's usually a caution. So careful, still there. Uh, keep ridden around the track a bit there. It's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. This I don't want to do, but I want to stay in front of Shieldhouse, so it's kind of a uh, Really like to get far in front of Kane, but I bet he's gonna ride down on me now. Yeah, you know what? Careful, still there. Just gonna run what I'm running. Got one up top. Hope that when he fades up, we're yeah okay. Got one peeking outside. This should give us the runoff that we need. Yes, it does, but we got hit, so we got super tight, and we're losing both spots. Whatever. Oh, that was not what I wanted. And it wasn't worth it then at all. All right. Oop. Wow. First time we did that in a while. No damage, so that's good. Oh, we should we should pull on Angela. I was just a little off because of the I was a little off from the bumping from the last lap, but should be able to gap Angela pretty good here. This is uh <laughs> this is interesting. Because before we had the buffer, I was up to like 12th place. Actually, I was up to 10th place. I was like, ah, yeah, we can drop some spots. Now we can drop one. 15th place is a must. I want that incentive money. We need all the money we can get here. Build this team up even more. Become a real championship competitor and focus on the Xfinity League and our own team over there as well. We need a couple hundred thousand dollars even to get our first car over in the Xfinity League, and I'd like to roll in there with a fair chunk of change so that we're able to pick up a couple cars and actually compete when we make our own team versus driving for a three-star team or if we do well getting offered a four-star team, I really want my own team. I like doing that. I prefer to have my own team. I max want it to be three seasons each series, and then... Once we're in the cup series, I will do, uh, I'll have to look at the mod or the update or whatever and see how that is. I'm not going to put it on here until after we're basically done. And then we'll put the gen or the new next gen cars out there and see what I can do with modding paint schemes and stuff for that too. Should be good. Should be fine. But until then, we got a, got a long ways to go. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to count the Xfinity season this season because I had no intention of being there. But I didn't have a choice. Did not have a choice. So and I, I wanted to race it because I didn't want to basically be getting free money for simulating. Because you simulate it, you get money. So I didn't want to do that and uh, be getting free money every week for not putting in the, the time or the effort. Oh. What? Why? Why did that just happen? Hmm. 
Now we got Egan got around Rutch, and he's putting on some good pressure. We got loose, so that's why they're back up on us. We got loose coming out of four again. I even tightened the truck up on the last pit stop because that was a big difference. We got real loose. I just have to remember. That's another reason why I like to be down on the track because I can basically steer straight off the corner and save myself from over oversteering. right here I'm pretty much off the steering wheel so as we're coming off the power we're laying down isn't causing the back tires to slide but when I don't do it they slide and then of course that gets worse and worse as the race goes on so I just try to mind it and I would like to get you know quite a distance on Egan or at least on Rutch I just don't feel like we are this stage at all at all at all why does the truck the truck actually feels terrible right now I'm having a hard time keeping it down in turn one and two as well our normal runoff is uh not going well and i wonder if that had something to do with smacking the wall even though it didn't show up in the damages because the truck is i mean we're not i'm able to do like 161 163 through there and i'm barely able to hit 160 now through there egan's here this isn't good car there on the inside I guess we'll have to hopefully repair this when the uh, caution comes out because I don't know what is going on here. 34 laps left in the tank. The tire wear is Still pretty there. bad, but whatever. Eating the tires isn't terrible. Could be worse. Although the middle of the tire is wearing, getting hot more than the outside or the inside. That's not right. Got one down low now. Although I'm not running a setup, so I have no idea about that. And Rush just hit us because I'm paying more attention to this than I am the track. And here we go. Start to lose position. So that is not cool. But I really don't know. We're just, I mean, the truck feels like crap right now. Yeah. I. We are absolutely losing speed. Fifty-five to go. Hmm. How much do we have left in the tank? Thirty-two laps left in the tank. Wow. Well, we're gonna run. Whoa, we got a smoker. Oh, it's Egan. Unfortunate for Egan. We are actually going to pit as well, and I think. Yeah, we're gonna pit as well. And I don't know, but we're gonna pit. I don't know what else to do there. Yeah, I dropped this back a couple spots, but I feel like it's worth it. I really do. Only one spot, actually, I dropped this back, so according to that, that's not true. We were in 14th. Well, 15th. He had passed us. No, maybe we were in 16th, come to think of it. Huh. On the inside of Jason White here so that we don't end up getting... Smashed by cost. We got a nice how to do from uh, John Perez there, and I didn't, I didn't like it. I, I wasn't a fan, but that's all right. Just hoping that this pitting for us really helps us out. We had to pit. We, are, we were truck was trash. It was completely trash, and you saw what we just did through that turns three and four that time. We're back. Um. If I can't get good runs around Shieldhouse and Kane, then I won't. But I really want to because I need buffers. I need buffer spots, and I think we're going to get a good run here. Kane's there. Bump him. Whoa. Maybe I bumped him too hard. Maybe, maybe a little too hard. That's all right, though. We'll figure it out. Get back on this horse. We'll catch back up to him and hopefully pass them and start to work on the other trucks that don't need us. We'll get the run here, but I don't think it'll be enough to do anything. Uh, maybe enough to get around Shieldhouse. Oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, before we get to the corner. Yes, stay back there, stay back there. No, no, not on my inside! 
I couldn't bring the, I could not get the truck down anymore without slowing down more, which wouldn't have worked. I don't want to be on the outside, mainly because I don't want him to smash us. All clear. I did there, but I actually didn't even feel it, which was weird. Apparently, I feel it in the corner, though. Drive off, Careful, super drive off, there. get past him before the end. Uh, just a slight clear. contact, but it was enough to get us around. That's huge because maybe now get some buffer, some time buffer between us and 15th. Keep in mind, that's the goal. That's the focus here. Stump trucks pit, not all trucks pit though. We had 32 in the tank. So probably by the end of that 25 or so or left. Stay low, stay low. Gonna put some of the trucks. Well, how much do we have in it now? 43 laps in the tank. How many laps are left in the race? Oh, yeah, I really did hit Kane hard. I damaged yeah, the front end. Hmm. Yeah, check that. Still there. 46 laps, so we're just short. So everyone has to pit, including us yet. We're obviously gonna run until that happens. All the leaders stayed out, which is why it's kind of nice for us. Because with the leaders staying out, two things, they're slower right now because they're on poor equipment. And the other thing is uh, with them having to pit, we aren't in a bad spot being outside of the pit window. So it works for us. Forty-five to go. I'm going to actually run this to 20 to go on speed up and we'll be back on the mic with you at that point. Unless a caution comes out, you know how that goes. We got 20 left in the race, but I am. I mean, we've saved a lap. Can we save two more laps before the end of the race? 
We've got trucks pulling onto pit road right now. All right, he's waving you off in front. He's pitting this time. To see if we can possibly do a thing. Well, that wasn't the person who was waving me off, so that was stupid. 17, 19. I think, I don't think I'm saving. I don't think we're going to make it. I think we'd make it if there's a caution. We just stay out, but we get run over by everyone pitting. Watch that car in front of you. He's slowing down. He's going to be pitting. Car outside. I don't know. All right, you're clear there. I don't really know yet. I mean, this should give us the lead. I'm not mistaken for who's on pit road right now. And judging by what they had to do, they all got full service. Question is, did we lap anybody? Oh, we're in second place. Oh, Egan's in first. Of course he is, because he would be... That makes sense. Also wondering about when that turns 15... Gonna be the exit of four, or are we actually saving anything here? Uh just now we're we're saving such a small amount. The most we could save is I mean I don't think I could save enough. I mean if Akashi came out it'd be pretty great. We pit. And uh I mean, we've got a number of trucks to lap down. So that would be kind of cool, but I'm not sure how this is going to end up. We're going to run it as long as we can. Because you never know what can happen. Careful, still there. Clear high, bud. Got a truck still coming off of pit road right now. That Rutch. Oh, that's uh, Malone. Malone and... Kenseth is it right here. Yeah. There it is. How many trucks are left? Look at that. We have a potential at a top 10, maybe even better. A number of the trucks up here, Jeremiah Graham, John Perez, Bryce Egan. We might be able to fight them for extra positions. Um, hold on. Actually, it. No, I need a half can. That's fine. That's fine. I'm still going with four wheels. I don't care if I lost the spots. I needed the tires. You know me. We're going green. Almost ready now. Green, green, green. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it was. It's the better thing for me to do. You know it is. Well, that ended up working out for us. Those things usually don't. So that's pretty awesome. And if I get the good runoff here, jump in head of these two drivers that are not fans of ours. It's a big deal because we go into three and four and we're not going to get run over. Oh, but freezing. Is that freezing? Oh, no, it's Anderson. He's a, he's down a lap. He can get to his back to the lap. And of course, if another caution comes out, he'd be back on the lead lap. But. See, I, I did the right thing, saving the excitement for the end. Still there? Rayum up there. I mean, those guys are on pressure stuff, so they should probably drive away. But if I could get to a draft and help us pull for a while, get that gap. What we got left in the race right now? Ten laps to go, so it's a flat-out sprint for us with fresh stuff on. That's awesome. See if I can make gains. Seventh place would be amazing. We were a 15th place truck, but strategy played into it. And sometimes it works out for you. Sometimes you have to run the whole thing pit at the end and end up getting, you know, a, a bad spot. Honestly, probably. Well, we might have still ended up in 15th or so, but maybe not. You don't, wow, you know, you never know. Oh, look at that. 
We found our best lap ever. That's the excitement here as we drive in harder. It's not the best lap of the race by a, like 1.3 or 4 seconds, but it's our best lap. We just got a, a great pull from the draft there. Feels so weird to go up here, but I really need to be up here to get the draft from these guys. Because going through here, my drive off might be really strong then. Instead of for Joe Cobbs for, for a position, or whatever I can do to get there. Careful, still there. Got one outside now. Ah, uh, feel like I slowed down a bit too much there. Seven to go. We've got a 2.7 second lead on Egan. Those guys didn't get tires. They just got fuel. That's why we're driving away from them so hardcore. Careful. Still there. Car outside. Hold on. Trying to keep some momentum coming through here. I got Anderson right there, and I don't want to run into him. Get down on the apron just to get some space. We're going to get around Cobb this time. Anderson is actually faster than Cobb. I think he just got caught a lap down. Ah, can't do it. I had to let her go and almost got myself loose when I decided to turn in harder. All right, that's fine. We're pushing it real hard. And uh, these are all the trucks that are better equipment than ours still and finger coming up now and he's obviously a lap down have I burned the crap out of my tires since ah not really I mean not great but could be worse could have been in the 70s already and have only gone like 7-8 laps Certainly pushing it as hard as humanly possible, trying to get at least the position from Cobb. Careful, still there. Got one up top. It's really the big, biggest deal coming out of four. This whole thing is drive off. Get that speed to drive off, and we just don't have it. I can get. I'll probably get it this time because we're side by side going into one. Careful, still there. Means I can. Get on the brakes a little bit, then get on the gas and probably drive past her. Maybe, I don't know. She kind of pinched us, which is smart. Smart of her. Going to be able to get there. Yep. Yeah, I see him, but it doesn't matter. He's not for position. He'll get around us. He's obviously a fast truck, but might help us. Use him. Use him for draft. Or he'll just fly away. <laughs> Come on now. We can get into that draft. Help us pull away from Cobb. It'll be one lap to go at the line. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Nope, nope not here. Sponsored by you hitting the like button. Oh, never do I ask for that. Hit my marks. Sixth place would be amazing. And uh, with that drive off with two right there, it might be all but a foregone conclusion here. Might be. We hold it in. Beautiful drive off. And we will come home in sixth place. Hey, Highly unlikely, but it was great.
top five, Johnny Sauter, Stuart Friesen, Austin Hill, Gustine, and Josh Rayum. We came in sixth. Bryce Egan comes in eighth. John Perez, 10th. Jeremiah Graham, 11th. David Schildhouse, 15th. Casey Kane, 17th. Max Cost, 19th. Lance Norwick, 21st. Gary Norton, 22nd. Eliza Bethel, 24th. Bernardo De Oliveira, 25th. Taylor Carpenter, 26th. Matt Kenseth, 27th. Matt Malone, 28th. Bradshaw Stout, 29th. Parker Smith, 30th. Michael Chavez, 31st. Speedy Jones, 32nd place. Top for fastest lap of the race, Johnny Sauter. Most laps led, Johnny Sauter. On the move, Johnny Sauter from 30th up to first. Great job. Wow. Dominant for them. Tough break. Michael Chavez started 14th, finished 31st. Hey, we have over 1,300 fans. Amazing. All right. In our next race, it'll be 200 laps, a 300-mile race. Uh, my other option is to go 100 laps, 150 miles. I'm starting to think about doing that. I guess I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go half on these. Because I'm going to be going half on Cup as well. And, uh, you know, we ran the Daytona full. It ended up being... It was all right. It's uh, quite a bit longer to record. And that's part of it. So we'll discuss that in the next episode but folks nice finish for us in this episode getting into sixth place is a fantastic bounce back from our 29th place finish at daytona in the truck series we heard nothing negative from the drivers so that's good and uh we move on we continue to try to drive clean around them so that hopefully as time goes on they'll just slowly move down the ladder of anger towards us but, folks, that is going to do it for this episode. I do want to take a moment out to say thank you so very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. And until next time, and of course, as always, you take care.